Good morning, Washington football fans. So, here's the big question. Is it time to panic? All right, we're three games into the season, and the defense has looked horrible. Uh, again, in my last video, I was talking about how that this defense is supposed to be the unit that is keeping this team in games, giving our offense a chance to to win the football game for us. And of course, we've seen the total opposite. Um, so, you know, we, we've heard about, uh, well, we heard from Ron Rivera uh, yesterday. Um, certainly, you know, he feels the secondary is improving. He's seeing certain details that we're not as fans. He's going through the tape and he is studying it. So you got to understand that point of view as well. We're not, you know, we don't have privy to tape to be able to sit down and analyze each position. We're we're only seeing what we we see on Sundays. And right now, you know, to us fans, that's what means more than anything else, right? When it comes down to it, the team playing well on Sundays and winning football games. Um, so is it time to panic? Well, think about this. We're three games into a 17-game season. Three games, okay? Uh, we've at least won one of those games. Now, you can argue that we should be 0-3 right now. I'm not going to argue that. But, you know, the long and short of it is it's a very long season, okay? And there can be a completely different you know, feeling amongst this team toward the end of the season. Now, it may be too late for us by that point. Um, if there's going to be a change, if there's going to be a change in philosophy uh, with coaching, or is it going to be a change in the, the defense, rather, you know, uh, getting together, figuring it out, playing up to their potential and hype? Um, <clears throat> is it the offense who continues to uh, you know, improve and guys like Deami Brown actually, you know, figuring out how to catch the football. Uh, I mean, who knows? Uh, we've got a long season. That is the whole point I'm trying to make. This is a very long season. And, you know, if you look at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers last year, they didn't start off so great. Now, they didn't get blown out that I remember uh, the way that you know, our team did last week, but, you know, they did not look like Super Bowl champions at the beginning of the, of the season. Toward the end of the season, absolutely. So, folks, fans, here's the thing. This is a long season. Let's pump the brakes a little bit. Let's just sit back and see what happens against Atlanta, okay? If... If our team doesn't show any signs of improvement against Atlanta, and if the Falcons beat us, I would say yes, there there can be some panic starting to set in because you're looking at the teams you're going to have to play after that. You know, Kansas City, Green Bay, um, and at some point we're playing uh, Tampa Bay again. I have to look at the exact schedule to see, but basically... We're playing elite football teams, you know, back to back to back. <laughs> and then after we get through that gauntlet, then we're playing NFC East Division rivals back to back to back to back. So this is really a must win game for the Washington football team this Sunday. And I think not only do they need to win, but they need to win decisively. They need to look as if they have gotten their act together all across the board. Because this can be one of those, what they call, um, oh shoot, what's the word? Uh, well, of course, I get, I get on video and I forget the word, but, or the phrase, but, you know, just, just that this springboard, this could be one of those springboard type of games where, Certainly, you expect to to beat this team. I mean, right now the Falcons 
in my opinion, are not nearly as good as what the Washington football team is. I don't think they're as talented. You know, they've got Matt Ryan. So that is one thing they got above us. I think Ryan is still one of the best quarterbacks in the league. So saying that, this should be a team that the Washington football team should be able to beat and beat decisively. If they can do that, I think it springboards them back to a status where they're like, okay, we still need to watch out for this team. Um, it can give them the confidence they need because a lot of times football is kind of a mental and emotional game. And it's a game of, of where momentum swings during a season. You get some momentum built up during the season, that can do some wonders for you. And so this could be a great momentum springboard type of game that the Washington football team desperately needs to win. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, subscribe. Right now, these videos are raw. They're uncut. Uh, they're uncensored, even though I don't usually uh, put anything um, bad in my videos or, or anything worth censoring, but um, I'm doing this because I'm trying to fit in these videos while I'm getting used to a, uh, a new uh, work schedule. So this is kind of how it's going to be for a little bit until I get back into having some time to edit some, some strong videos for you. But in the meantime, please continue to support me if you can. Like I said, like, share, um, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.